650 hours spent underwater, 80 coral frames, and an estimation of 4,300 coral nubbins propagated on our dedicated restoration sites. One of the many reasons of pursuing this mission was to allow various species of fish and mollusks to thrive in a healthy environment. And according to our observations, that is exactly what happened. Our sites are teeming with life. From a lurking ball of coral catfish and schools of mullet to a timid pufferfish. One of the sites even attracted a solitary seahorse hanging on to one of our coral frames. This thriving marine environment and nursing space also meant that commercially exploited fish could have their spillover to fishing zones, which could benefit the local fishermen community. We also recruited an additional team member, providing snorkeling tours and simultaneously giving some insights and education concerning our restoration sites and the overall marine environment. So far, so good. <laughs>